Hello, Tico here. Hope everyone's well and safe as normal. I thought I'd do this video to update you all on what's to be expected on my channel in terms of content for the rest of this year. Because I have a job now, I can travel further and stay there for longer which will be helpful. For example, if I plan to do some spotting in a specific area like Manchester, instead of just doing an all day trip. However, because I have a job, this means that I won't be uploading all the time because I'm working, of course, as well as just me just keeping my mental health in check. So the content for the rest of August and then the last four months of 2021 will look something like this, if all goes according to plan. So train spotting videos, traveling and railway journey vlogs, special videos, Q&A videos, and one confirmed collaboration. For the rest of this month there are just two videos for me to upload, my monthly Q&A video and another travel vlog which I'll be filming at the end of this month and will hopefully be uploaded by the first week of September. Speaking of September, I have plans to get a Heart of England Rover ticket and use it around the Snow Hill Lines network in the West Midlands in an upcoming new series I've called Tico Ventures, where I travel and explore networks and stations across the country. This is because it's about time that I did something completely different, instead of heading up to the north, causing chaos and spotting sprinters all the time no matter how much I want to. The following content from the first round of venturing out to the West Midlands includes, as planned, a four-part journey for the first round of exploring the stations on the Snow Hill lines, one driver's eye view video, and at least 40 train spotting videos ranging between one minute to ten minutes long or even more. Next up for September is a travel vlog where I plan to collaborate with a fellow YouTuber, as well as do some train spotting. Next up for September is my YouTube channel's 10 year anniversary special, which I have yet to film, as it is an important milestone for me and my channel and is worth celebrating. Next up for September is the Severn Valley Railway Autumn Steam Gala, starting September 6th, I think that I may take advantage of, but this has yet to be decided. Apart from all the plans I've just mentioned, there is always, of course, my monthly Q&A video for September. For October, I plan to visit Wales and train spot in the following areas, Cardiff, Newport and Seven Tunnel Junction, as well as make a two-part vlog of my time in South Wales. Now for this year, because I didn't do it last year, I might take up doing a Halloween special. It's just planning what to do for Halloween, that's all. All I can think of at the moment is Kidderminster, because Kidderminster, and a defective clone of mine, which hates sprinters and loves the class 172s for some reason. But that's all I can think of for Halloween. But feel free to leave suggestions in the comments below for what you think would be good for Halloween. Goose for Halloween, sorry. There is also a plan for a few days out at one of my favourite places to train spot, which is Tamworth, where I will spot a variety of trains, as well as keep my eyes open for the Caledonian Sleeper, as I've not yet spotted it. And last but not least, is my monthly Q&A video for October. For November, I plan to do the second round of venturing out to explore the other lines on the West Midlands Railway Network with, once again, a Heart of England Rover ticket. The following content from the second round to the West Midlands includes a four-part journey of exploring the stations on the West Midlands Network and at least, bear with me here, 62 train spotting videos ranging between 1 minute to 10 minutes long or even more. And it's safe to say that my content will not run out anytime soon after that. Also for November, 
Depending on when the Class 196 Civities enter service with West Midlands trains, in either November, December or maybe next year even, I plan to spot these new trains and do a review on them, which includes, well, involves spotting, travelling and seeing what facilities they provide, both exterior and interior. But as I said, it all depends really when these trains enter service. And last but not least, is my monthly Q&A video for November. Now for December, there is of course the Christmas special, but it's too early yet to decide what to do. Knowing me, I'll have something to do with Manchester and celebrating my 20 year anniversary with my beloved. Or just, you know, train spotting in the surrounding area and, you know, celebrating 20 years with my beloved. At the moment, there are no confirmations on any meet and greets or collaborations with fellow YouTubers, for now anyway. There are two things that are confirmed. The first one is of course my Q&A video for December. The other confirmed plan is to release my four part New Year special, which will be released within the first four days of 2022. Each new special features a collection of trains from this year. Well, specific collection anyway. So part one will show all the freight, charters, heritage, network rail, light engine, empty coach movements, driver's eye views, etc. etc. from 2021. Part two will feature all of the sprinters that I have spotted from 2021. So bear with, it is going to be a very long video, as all of these are actually, because, well, sprinters. Part 3 will feature all the trains at speed, from mostly Ashchurch for Tewkesbury because of the lockdown and not having enough money to travel, and another of other stations from 2021. Part 4 will feature all of the train horns and whistles that have been sounded on my videos in 2021. Consider this the opera for train enthusiasts. And that's it from me rambling on about what's to be expected from my channel. If you have made it to the end of the video, then thank you. It's really appreciated and it does mean a lot. And I do hope that you look forward to what I have to offer for my channel for between now and New Year's Eve. New Year's Day out or, you know, the first week of New Year's. And as always, thank you for watching and stay safe everyone.